And we're going Endless Waltz Part 2, and it's still in English. I think I very much enjoyed having this brand new experience of it being in English. So we're with Catra, and he's, um, he's getting the Gundams, and he's trying to turn the shuttle around so it doesn't go into the sun. But it's very warm inside. It blows up certain components of it so that it heads back towards Earth. Meanwhile, Hero and Duo are still doing their thing, invading, that kind of stuff. They walk into one of the rooms and they discover that Tro is already hacking the system! Confusion! Thought you were evil, buddy! Okay, so I guess we're over the fact that Tro was evil for a little while there. I guess it was all just another trick. They admittedly don't really know what Wu Fei's plan is at this point, but that's pretty normal. So Troa, Duo, and Hero are like, Pfft, we stopped Operation Meteor! Pfft, finished! No problem! Okay, so apparently the Dakin guy is already doing it, but the colony isn't gonna crash to Earth, at least. And Catra's like, guys, I, I, I'm successful, I'm heading back towards Earth. And Hero's like, awesome. <laughs> he's so monotonous, it's like distracting, and he's like, awesome, send me wing zero. <laughs> and then Hero's like, duo, punch me in the face, it'll be great. So, duo gets to punch Hero, and it's like the best day he's ever had. And then Hero punches Duo, so he's unconscious. And then Hero pretends to be unconscious and then runs away. So he's manipulated the situation, so Duo's been captured, and then Hero is running about inside the base doing whatever. And Tro is still undercover. He still is pretending to be a bad guy. Noin stumbles across Zex, and she's like, <gasps> Hi! Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> Such a jerk to her, but she keeps coming back. Okay, so Marimea's guys have succeeded in capturing the head guys of Earth, so it's it's an issue right now. I think we've got a new song by the same singer. So I think a little bit of time has passed, maybe like a couple of days. And Hero's in a shuttle, and he meets up with his Gundam flying through space, just like he told Catra to do, and Catra did it, because such a nice guy. <laughs> and then the music gets all techno-y. It was so, it was like a ballad before and now it's like, yeah! Why does it have angel wings? <laughs> Why does it have angel wings? Why does it have angel wings? <laughs> anyway, Relina is still Marimea's prisoner guest. And she was looking out the window and she's just like, hero. <laughs> And then the entire house that she's in just <laughs> starts descending into the ground. I mean, I guess it's not that silly, considering they have the technology to create space colonies and giant robot suits. It seems reasonable. Marimea wants to be the ruler of the world. She's a little crazy. Wufei flashbacks! Suddenly! So Wufei's yelling at Master Long, who is planning on dropping the colony onto Earth, and he's like, No, 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 that's stupid! And then he descends to Earth, and that was his reason for going to Earth. And that was literally the entire flashback, it was seriously seven seconds long. That was rude. They just showed exactly how much they care about Wu Fei by giving him a seven second flashback. Alright, so now Wu Fei and Hiro are fighting. And I think Wu Fei's English voice is seriously really adorable. It like fits him perfectly. So someone is drugging a bunch of Marimea's soldiers because they're holding some colony people hostage. And in those colony people includes Catherine. I think it might be Sally who's setting them free. It is! Aha! Uh -huh. Meanwhile, Duo's in prison and he's like, Ugh. But he had means of escaping. He had keys in his hair or whatever. And so he gets out and he's going to pick up his Gundam. Sally comes on board the ship that Duo's escaping on, and Tro is there, and it's like, yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, Hiro and Wufei are still fighting. Hiro's trying to tell Wufei that he's being silly, but Wufei will not listen. And he's like, the war is over? But what does that mean for the soldiers who only know how to fight? I mean, what do they do now? Clearly we have to start another war. Wufei, your logic is just amazing. Wufei is convinced that he's still fighting Trace. He's thinking back to that little girl and that puppy he killed by accident. And Wufei's like, what? And I think Wufei is finally like, oh yeah, I was being totally crazy. Meanwhile, Troa and Duo have met up with Catra, so they all have their Gundams now. And they all head to Earth. 
So Lady Anne is like, Marimea is just a puppet controlled by Dakin. Ah! Because she knows that Trace wouldn't have wanted this. Catra shows up to help out Miliardo and Noi. P.S. Duo and Troa are there too. I like that Troa's Gundam does acrobatics too, just like him. In the shelter with Marimea and Relina. Relina stands up and she's like, No. She runs over to the intercom and she's like, Everyone! It's okay, don't be afraid! But before she's able to get too much out, um, they cut the, they cut the line. But everyone saw her and they're like, oh, Qu Queen Relina, what? Shoot her! Shoot her! Ooh, did I say that? Did I say that? That was so bad. Oh, Dorothy! <laughs> Go home, Dorothy. No one wants you in this movie. <laughs> she talks down to the civilians of the Earth, saying that, like, they're not men. They have to... I mean, like, the only men who exist in this world are the ones who are badass, and the badass ones are up there on that screen. Look at them fighting. What have you done in your life? And we're watching the Gundam pilots fight in this dramatic war. So, and all of these guys are inspired. Let's go find Relina and fight for freedom. Random people powered, let's go! Dorothy's like, come aboard, guys. I got a big van. Anyway, we're back to big robot suit fighting. My favorite part. It only took us an hour to get to it, but it's fine. Meanwhile, Hero has landed on Earth. The Zero system activates, and he heads out to go to the final fight. Miliardo's trying to tell the Gundam pilots to escape. Guys, we can take care of the rest, and everyone's like, what? And they're like, no, we planned on staying here until death, obviously. So they don't retreat, they stick around. If we self-detonate, we could probably take out like half of them. What do you guys think? But then suddenly Hero! Yay! And Hero fires directly at the shelter that Marimea is in. So they're like, if we get hit again in that same place, we're done. Hero's like, serious face! And he fires! Does he know Relina's in there? Maybe. It looks like Lady Un suddenly jumped in and, and protected Relina and Marimea. You know, as the entire thing was exploding. And she says that, you know, she can't allow Marimea to die because she loves Trey so much. Buffet is leading all of those rebellion guys that Dorothy collected. And everyone's like, are we winning? <laughs> and so everything seems to be falling apart for um, Marimea. And then the old guy, Dakin, is like, Marimea, come step forward! And Marimea is kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, totally! <laughs> She's gonna be like, 12 to 14 at the oldest. And then Un and Relina simultaneously step forward and smack her in the face. And then Dakin has a gun and he's like, stop it. And he shoots her, but Marimea jumps in front of her, surprisingly. And so Marimea has now been shot. <laughs> so sad, she's bleeding everywhere. She's a little kid. Then Un shoots him dead. No wait, it wasn't Un, it was some guy who was standing next to him. And so Marime is like, oh, I'm dying, but I was mistaken. I'm sorry, Relina, you're right. And now Hero's here, hi! So, and then Hero faints, just as he's about to kill Marimea. And then Relina grabs him before he falls over, and she's like, hooray! Long time no see! But he's unconscious. The Marimea's troops are kind of like, okay, never mind. Okay, so, duo Troa and Catra blow up their Gundams, for realsies, exploded. Gone. Oh, I guess Wufei blew his up too. But on his own. And Wufei goes off to, to work with Sally. I'm so happy for him. This is the conclusion I wanted for him at the end of the series. Noin and Zex go off to work on something that Relina has plans for regarding peace or whatever. So mobile suits and Gundams were never seen again. Now we're at a gravesite as music plays in the background. Marimea is in a wheelchair with Un visiting Trey's grave. I assume it's Trey's. They don't, they're not telling us that, but it seems like it would be logical. Oh, Duo and Hildy! They're so married! Did they get actually married? Cho goes back to the circus. He's like, sorry I left again, guys. And Catra goes and hangs out with his little friends. And Sally and Wufei are working together. I'm so glad he's finally found direction in his life. <laughs> he deserves it. And Relina's talking about peace. And Hero's watching her, approvingly, I think. So I guess the movie's over now. 
And I have to say, it was super fun watching that in English. You know, after watching the entire series in Japanese and then just like switching over and <laughs> changing it to English, it was like jarring at first, but then it was like, okay, I get it. And their voices were really cute. I think that they did a really good job choosing English voices for the characters. Anyway, that's all for Endless Waltz. I'm sure I'm gonna do an analysis video on this movie because it kind of gave us closure for the characters, finally. And um, there's a lot to, to be talked about, I think. So I'll see you next time for whatever I'm watching next. <laughs> Bye!